hello friends in this video i am going to show you basic troubleshooting of scom server and uh, the agent if scom is not able to communicate with your agent how you are going to troubleshoot it okay so first of all i am on my scom server so let's try to open operations console and let's see what error we encounter operation manager is starting and uh, trying to connect to the server okay so what is the error the error is the data access service is either not running or not yet initialized okay check the event log so the error indicates that the service so data access service let's go to services services.msc so you can go to run and then services dot msc and hit enter you will get this page okay and here search with system center okay if you search with data access service you are not going to find it and uh, i had actually stopped the service to show you the error okay so you can say this service is not running actually so that's why it says either it is not running or not yet initialized okay because when you start the server the services are just starting up so whenever you have rebooted your scom server or there is any failure with your scom server give it few minutes about uh, 5 to 10 minutes to settle it down and then open the operation console okay otherwise you might get this uh, error okay so let's start the service and let's see what happens next so these are the two services okay so let's try to start the service the first one is data access service that is responsible for accessing the data from your uh, database and it's actually a middle layer between your uh, GUI and backend so when you start your operation manager it's actually provide a connection and the workflow powershell so it's like a layer between user interface and backend data okay so that's system center data access service and then we have another one is data center management configuration that is responsible for managing configuration okay so let's start this one as well so these two services must be running before you start your operation console okay let's click on close and let's try to connect again okay so this time it's again says the data access service is either not running let me refresh this page so you can see it is stuck in starting let me close it let's try to restart again okay so you can see now it's in running state okay and if you are trying to start and that you are getting some error you can check it in the event log okay so i will show you let's try to open it once again so you can see it's stopped again okay it's running now and uh, meanwhile uh, we can say it's uh, stopping and then we need to restart again so let's go to event viewer and let's see what's happening why service is getting stopped again and again okay so you can go to windows logs and under system and here you can filter it out with the critical error warning and then you can specify the time okay and if you know the event id let me search with that and once i filtered it out you can see it says the system center data access service terminated unexpectedly and it has done this three times okay so why my service is starting but eventually it is getting it stopped okay and if you can see it says an instance of service is already running okay this is the reason if i just go to services and you can see now it's again stuck in starting okay so in this case might be related to as you see it says an instance is already running 
So why it's happening? Because actually the service was running and then I just uh, forcefully stopped that service to show you what is the error. Okay. And another error is you can see this computer was not able to set up a secure connection with domain controller. Okay. So what is the problem actually? And this is about uh, half an hour ago. So what is happening here is let me close all the things. And uh, actually if I go to my second host where my DC is running, you can see it's stopped, powered off. Okay. When we start any stopped service, it's actually authenticated because the service is running with this account. Okay. So in this case, what could be the reason is uh, might be your uh, account password is not valid. But if that is the case, you will get a login failure. Okay. And uh, if the account is logged in that case, also you will get login failure. Okay, but in this case, as I said, actually the DC was shut down. Okay, so I have started my DC and now if I try to start it and it doesn't start, then I need to reboot the servers because you can see this. It says an instance of the service is already running. Okay, so sometimes, you know, Windows behave weird and the solution is just a single reboot. Okay. Okay, DC is started. Let's try to start the service once again and it's in running state. Let's start operation consoles once again and it again says the data access service is not running. Okay, this is very weird situation and you can see it's uh, actually running. What is the reason then? Actually, I have stopped my SQL server as well. So let's uh, Reboot the system before starting the SQL server and let's see what happens. Whenever you reboot the SCOM server, give it a few minutes. So let's check the service first. Both services are running. Let's open operations console and let's see what is the error now. Okay, so I am getting the same error. Let me start my SQL server. Okay, I have started my SQL server. I'll click on close and then click on connect. So you can see system center data access services again is stopped. Okay. So now you can see it's connected and it's synchronizing with the database. So whenever if your uh, SQL server is also up so, and with still you are not able to connect then you can check the the SQL services on SQL server like uh, the database is initialized or not. You can see these full text filter daemon my SQL server and this is actually my SQL server default name I have given and the agent. Okay, so these three services must be running and these SQL service services. So this SQL server this is not actually mandatory. This is disabled. Okay, so by default these four services uh, five services must be running Okay, so you can check on the SQL server as well that services are running or not and If uh, that service is not running uh, and if you are getting any error you can just open event viewer and you can check the issue in detail like what is the reason why the service is getting stopped or not starting Okay, so now you can see I am successfully logged into SCOM 2019 operation manager now. Okay, so actually it happened with me about two two times after starting the SQL server. So whenever you are starting SQL server, give, give it few minutes. Okay, and try to check the service. What is the status? Okay, it's actually stopped automatically if the SQL server is not uh, responding. Okay. What I will say first check the service and then the connectivity with your domain controller. So you can try to ping your domain from uh, SCOM server. Okay, so this is DC. I am able to ping DC. So I don't remember the IP of uh, my SQL server. So let's ping with the name. 
Okay, so I'm able to ping DC and uh, SQL Server. So you can check this before before uh, checking the SQL Server itself, like connectivity, because I have I know I have stopped my SQL Server, so I haven't checked for the connectivity. Okay, so these two things you can do after checking the service if services are running. One more thing what i faced if you are working in lab and you have uh, you know not started your lab from last one more than one month then your passwords got expired okay in that case i have troubled a lot about two hours to finding what is the issue because the services was running okay so i was not able to understand why it's uh, but when i checked on the testing server then it says uh, login failure because services were not running and i started the service it says login failure then i realized that yeah i have changed my password okay so look for that like if someone has changed your password or password is expired or log account is logged so these are few things that is going to prevent uh, opening your uh, opening your operation console okay so again let me just uh, remind it or review it the first one is the service system center data access services system center management configuration then try to if that is fine try to ping the dc try to ping sql server if the services are up means you are able to ping the servers then you can check services like sql server and it's a database is initialized or not so these are the few things that you can check on a basic level okay this is not the deep but if you know you are not able to troubleshoot then you can and then uh, if you go in depth you can go to event viewer every time the log is your friend whenever you face any error log is the friend that can tell you a lot okay so you can go to windows log and system so that i have already shown you if you expand the application and services log you you can see operation manager log so there is a log only for that operation manager okay so you can just filter it out once again warning critical error or if you know the event you can because you know if you want to see like how many times that event has occurred you can search with that and the frequency so that is the you know way of troubleshooting any issue not the related to operation manager itself okay another thing is the agent uh, issue like you are not able to install agent on your servers whenever you are trying to uh, install agent on any server you can try to ping that server from uh, your scom server okay so ping is very helpful okay try to ping servers and then if the connectivity looks good then you can check for the ports like sometimes they we are able to ping this server but actually that port is not enabled okay you can check the service one more service that is agent service okay so whenever you have this type of let me show you windows computers and here you can see these do two are healthy but one bin 10 cl1 web os3 that is actually great there is check mark but it's gray because this scom server is not able to understand like what's the issue means it is actually not even able to communicate with its agent okay in this case actually this bin 10 cl1 is actually shut down and it's not uh, running that's why it's in gray what you can see if the server is reachable first thing is ping your server if like if i try to ping that server let's me try it okay so you can see it says request timeout okay so it might be firewall issue or uh, it's actually down so you can try to rdp to it if uh, ping is not working sometimes we you are able to rdp to that server but in my case it's actually server is down okay if you are able to ping the server but still it, you are saying it's down what you can do you can check the 
health service that is Microsoft monitoring agent and it says health service the service name okay this is the display name on it Microsoft monitoring agent so sometimes this service is not running means it's in a stop state so you can check and you can start the service I'm on SQL server where I have installed the agent so you can see Microsoft monitoring agent that it's installed and again you can check the service if that is installed the service is running or not so it's a Microsoft monitoring agent okay sorry this one so it's running and it's also in green state over here that is healthy okay so this is for uh, windows let's go and check how to check services on linux machines okay if i go to unix linux computer there is two computer one is sent s7 and another one is ubuntu 16. okay so let me show you on this one so actually i was able to install agent on centos 7 as well okay but it was not working on 1218 that has open ssl 1.1 so i tried on centos and it worked because uh, open ssl is 1.0 okay but yes actually 2019 supports open ssl 1.1 as well but i need to update it I've installed one or two KB, but that I will show you in the next video. Okay, so Ubuntu 16, let's go to that. The troubleshooting things is going to be the same. So I have Ubuntu 16 that is already started. So go to this over here, or if you have terminal, you can uh, go to terminal, or if you can SSH, you can SSH. Okay. The command is system CTO status OMID dot service. So this is the service that must be running. So right now it's in active state. Okay. And if it is not running, you can run system CTL start OMID dot service or you can first stop it if any reason you want to stop you can do it using stop okay it will ask for password okay so now if i check the status it's uh, loaded but inactive okay and uh, to start you can just system ctl start mid dot service okay and if i check the status now it's again running and if you get any error while starting it you can get it in the log you can run journal xc and hit enter oh my bad it's journal ctl okay so if there is any issue you will get the details over here at the last like here you can see unit omid services begin starting up and it started but if i check in the one to 18 it says is starting up but there is a i think uh, something dot so that is actually causing issue and that's related to some libraries live crypto so folder you can go to opt omi okay you can see bin and live so you can just go through those folder or file so this is basic uh, understanding of troubleshooting how to troubleshoot agent issue or uh, scom itself if there is any issue with this comments because i have comment uh, where someone was not able to start the scom it was working one day prior or two days but now it's not working so these are the things that you can check while troubleshooting so I hope you get some knowledge about how to troubleshoot basic troubleshooting of uh, SCOM server and agent. Okay. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.